Goodbye. Goodbye. Isn't that lovely? All hung up on the hoop. Yes. Did you do that? Remember Jim? Last time we met him, he got himself into an awful mess. He just didn't stop and think why he was really buying. Our chum made several basic bobos. He rushed into shops without first asking himself why he was really buying. He hoped that the champ's ability would rub off on him if he wore the same brand of shoes. He hoped the gang would like him if he bought what they bought and did what they did, even though it wasn't his cup of tea. He thought that a free gift was free. Silly him. And Jim Boy's wonderful imagination built up grand ideas from a pretty picture. He bought the picture, not what was inside the packet. Well, here's Jim again. And what's he doing? Nothing, you say. No, my friends, Jim is thinking. He's thinking that the show starts in a few weeks' time, and that's one place he really likes. So what's he going to do? He's going to save all his pocket money, so he'll be sure of having a really good time there. Meanwhile, what are the gang doing? Ah, there they are. Hi, gang. And what are they doing with their pocket money? Is Jim missing out on all this fun? Well, I suppose he is. But he doesn't appear to be out of sorts. You see, he's saving his money because he's looking forward to the big spend-up soon. And in the meantime, he's found other things to do. Hey! Hi, Jim! Hi, Jim! Come on. Hey, Jim, you can play with us. <laughs> so that by the time the show comes around, he's ready.
well, it was fun while it lasted. Has Jim had a good time or has he not? Hey, I had a great time. Oh, and here's his friend, little Susie. He's going to tell her all about the fun he had at the show and share with her the results of all those weeks of saving. Jim, you spent $20 at the show, so where's all the money gone? $10 on rides and in your tum, and the other $10 was spent on, on this? I ask you this question, my friends. Has Jim Boy been ripped off? Has he got value for money? Now, what does that mean, I wonder? Well, let's see what he's got here. A lot of paper. More posters than he'll ever need. Mmm, some lollies. And lots of wrapping. Did he really want all of this? Well, Jim and Susie decide to pack all the stuff up and take it home. Then they'll go and investigate what this value for money might mean. But where will they start? Hey, Jim, why don't you start by asking, is all that packaging you're throwing away really necessary? Would you say that packaging is necessary? tin might be necessary, but what's inside it? Well, we know what's inside this. friend, it's not money. But in a way, it is. Because these cans and bottles cost money, too. Yes, they did. And you paid for them when you bought the drink inside. And what can you do with them now? Well, that's one solution. Yes, folks, packing and wrapping can have its good and bad side. And I think Jim and Susie are getting the picture. Now they're going to put it to the test. They're going to shop for Jim's birthday party. Jim shop for his own party, you ask? Well, he's been allowed to organize the games and food for the gang. First up, while Jim looks for some prizes for the games they'll have, his friend Susie is going to look for a present for him. Aha! A Super Zeus. I wonder what that is. Well, let's look inside. You'll throw away what's in one hand, and you'll keep what's in the other. But you're paying for both. Now, is that value for money, I ask you? Hmm. Hey, this looks good. But Susie can't feel what's inside. She can't get inside the parcel. So let's try again. Oh, yes, this looks just like Jim. And yes, she has enough money. But look more closely, Susie. She won't have enough money for the batteries, too. And imagine how disappointed Jim would be if he couldn't use his present. So little Susie decides to think a bit more. 
Ah, that looks just right. Meanwhile, why don't we see how Jim is getting on? He's found some great prizes for the games they'll play at the party, and he's only got one more to buy. What about a tennis ball? Now, Jim only wants one ball. He doesn't want the tin or the other two balls. Would that be value for money if he bought the tin just for one ball? <laughs> He'll think again. Ah, and here's little Susie. What's that, says Jim. Mm -mm, it's a surprise. Never mind, Jim. You'll find out soon enough. It's time to think of the party games. Let's play hopscotch, says little Susie. Right, says Jim. That's right. Go to it, lad. Hey, Jim, remember how that money disappeared at the show? That's great if it's a wet day, but isn't there another way of looking at this? Great. And what about playing blind man's buff? Yes. So they'll need a mask. Whoops. <laughs> no, there's another way of looking at this, too. Our Jim's not stupid. There you are. But that mask has given Jim an idea for the last prize he wants. I'll have this. Well, they're almost finished. Oh, no. What's Jim Boy found here? Ah, yes. It had to come sooner or later. The number one lesson in value for money, my friends. Here's the same prize, and it's much cheaper than the one he bought in the other store. The number one lesson? Shop around and compare prices. And now, finally, the food for the party. This time, Jim and Susie are following to the limit the rule of shopping around and comparing. Here in Jim Boy's test kitchen, while Susie is labeling three hamburgers bought at three different shops, Jim is taking another course. Yes, he's making his own. Oh, is that meat or is it not? That's the best beef Jim used. How about a little salt? Well, that's one way of spicing things up. And the pepper, Jim. Mmm-mmm. He's having quite a bit of fun, I can see. And does it smell good? Now it's time for Susie's blindfold taste test. She's gonna judge the hamburgers to see which one she likes, and that'll be the one they'll have for Jim's birthday party. Are you ready, Susie? Hamburger number one. The super hamburger costs one dollar. Well, what do you think of it, Susie? It's all right, I suppose. Yes, just an ordinary old hamburger. Bit of lettuce, some salad things, and some meat. That's meat? Let's try the next one. The King Hamburger cost one dollar and twenty cents. Do you like this one, Susie? Mm. Much the same. So, it doesn't taste much different. It doesn't look much different either. So, why do you suppose it costs more than the first one? Hamburger number three. The Smasher at ninety cents. Oh, yuck! This one's horrible! There's no beetroot, and I love beetroot. Oh, well, it looks like this one hasn't passed the taste test. How about trying just one more, Susie? Mmm! 
Mmm, mm, this one's yummy. Now comes the moment of decision. Jim's hamburger cost a dollar to make. Doesn't it look terrific? So, what's it to be? The 90 cent smasher, the $1.20 king, the $1 super. But Jim's hamburger was a dollar too, and he had fun making it, and it was Susie's number one. Is there any comparison? So, which one would you say is value for money? Happy birthday, Jim. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jim Boy. Happy birthday to you. Happy That's what I've always wanted. So what is it? What did Jim get for his birthday? Well, folks, why don't you tune in next time to find out? Bye now. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. <laughs> <laughs>